Okay, now we move to the structural factors that affect the balance of goods and services. And remember that structural factors are due to the structure or the nature of the individual economy. They don't change with economic growth. This triangle is a delta, a Greek character, Greek letter, whatever you'd like to call it, that symbolizes change. So structural factors don't change when the economic growth changes. They're always going to be present because of how the economy operates. So let's have a look at the structural factors that affect the box. So again, we can number these. The first one is what's known as Australia's narrow export base. Okay, a couple of things we need to think about here. Export base refers to the range of exports that a country produces and sells on world markets. If we narrow down to Australia, Australia's main exports tend to fall into the categories of commodities and agriculture. And the thing is that on world markets, Okay, let's follow this theory. Okay, so export base refers to the range of exports that a country produces and sells on world markets. Australia is focused at the moment on commodities and agriculture. And what I'd like you to think about is that commodities and agriculture are relatively low value added products. That essentially what Australia is doing is just selling the raw materials to another country who can then do something more fancy with it. So because it's just the raw materials that they don't always command very high prices for those raw materials because they're not very sophisticated. Now a proviso, yes, when they're in high demand, prices are going to go through the roof, but some more sophisticated products, manufactured goods can uh, earn countries higher revenue on world markets. So Australia has a narrow export base that is focused on low value added products. A second and related factor to this idea of value added is that Australia lacks international competitiveness in high value added production. So Australia is not excellent. Okay, so that's not the most articulate way of expressing it, but I think you might remember it. Australia is not excellent at high value added production. And when we talk about high value added production, we're talking about the stuff that you can get lots of money for, high prices for. So to elaborate on this point, elaborate, Australia is not relatively competitive at high value manufacturing. So Australia isn't very good at manufacturing consumer goods or capital goods. Once upon a time, we weren't too bad, but in recent years, China has totally dominated us and we no longer do these things. So Australia is not producing those high value, high price manufactured exports. So what we wanna do is if we combine these two points together and we think we've got a narrow export base, lack of international competitiveness, what we can start to do is think about this point. So because of the narrow export base and the lack of international competitiveness, Australia's exports don't always secure high prices. Australia's exports don't always go for very high prices outside of mining booms, perhaps. So the point that I'm making here is that the value of exports could be less than the value of imports, because remember, we're bringing in all that high value stuff we don't produce. And if the value of exports is less than that value of imports, okay, 
Boggs is going to worsen the trade balance and that will then worsen the current account deficit. That might be a bit confusing and I don't blame you. If you have any questions on that bit or any of this, just put it in the comments. All right, let's do the last bit here. The last point here is that volatile prices for commodity exports. So volatile means that the the prices fluctuate and they always fluctuate for commodity exports. They go up, they go down, they go sideways, all sorts of things. And if Australia is focused on commodity exports, that means that the value that Australia can get for those exports will fluctuate wildly. So if there is a, like say a strong period of volatility, let's just change the color for a second here. So let's say there is a protracted period where commodity exports are really volatile and prices are plummeting. Maybe they go up a little bit, they fall. Maybe they go up a little bit, but they keep falling. Well, that is going to worsen bogs and worsen the current account deficit. And the point is that um, the prices for manufactured goods are not as volatile. The prices for manufactured goods and services, they're not as volatile. They might actually be more supportive for a positive bogs balance and also a smaller current account deficit. Okay, so these are the three structural factors, the kind of permanent factors in the Australian economy that affect the level of the balance of goods and services.